How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Shaving Chat. I'm Sergio. You guys know me as Shaving with Serge. And today, I'm going to be showcasing Barbus. Big Dude Barbus. And it comes in at 150 grams. This is a glycerin-based soap. Just a nice, clean, fresh, possibly citrus scent, but I would describe it as a fresh and clean scent. Scent strength on this, I give us a medium. I give us about a six and a half. It's a very firm soap. I've scooped it and I have a bowl lather for today. On the site, it's available for $16. They also have aftershave, Barbus cream, and Barbus sport shaving cream. So check out the site for other great Barbus products. And uh, the best, one of the best things about the razor company is anything over 10 bucks is free shipping. Come on, how can you beat that? It's a great, great thing. All right. So I'm going to get into the shave now, wet the face, and here we go, I'll just show you what about an almond size amount of Barbus can get you if you lather it up in a bowl. So I like to wet the face, and then I'm going to begin by applying it, just brushing it on. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today is Friday. This is a nighttime shave. It's about 9.30 at night. And like I said, Barbus is a great value soap. It performs great. A slick soap and a great bang for the buck in my opinion. 5.2 ounces for $16, you just can't beat that. You know, the industry standard is four ounces. And I'm about ready for my first pass. It is gonna be a straight razor shave. I'm gonna be coming in with the Vintage Weight and Butcher. Just before the shave, I checked the website and they do have a 1800s 5 Vintage Weight and Butcher on the site. If it's not there after um, this video is uploaded, just keep checking back. Vintages, they come and they go. And Weight and Butcher is the name to go for, in my opinion, when it comes to vintages. Here we go, first pass, actually. Uh, move up that sideburn right there. Just concentrating on my strokes right now. Wiping it off. And we'll be going, I like to switch hands when going to the other side. Barbus is a great soap. If you're not looking to spend a lot of money. It's great for someone who's new into this hobby and you're just not willing to put out big bucks and you're not sure what to try with this scent, you just can't go wrong. Like I said, this is just a very clean, traditional citrus scent. I'll be right back. and I'm ready for my second pass. For the second pass, I like to use a squirter. I like applying more water to my face. I 
I'm just gonna be brushing it on for straight razors. Shave a nice hydrated soap with that extra slickness that it provides when it's hydrated more. Just makes it very comfortable. And we come in for the second pass now, and this is gonna be across the grain. When using a straight razor, you always wanna make sure you're stretching the skin. I have a sponge in my sink that I'm just wiping the blade on to clean off the excess lather. You're always just using a light touch with the razor to the face. If you don't have Barbas in your collection, you definitely should give it a shot. Can't go wrong with a nice citrus clean set. All right, and I'm gonna be going in for my third pass. I'm not gonna wet the face this time. I think I hydrated the soap just great enough that I'm gonna get all that, the moisture I need from the soap itself. And again, just brushing it across my face. And I don't need this much soap, but I'm just going to show you just the just the peaks, little nice peaks that Barbies can produce. And I'm gonna be coming in for the final pass, and that is the against the grain. One awesome thing about the Razor Company is they have some great, great YouTube shavers on there just showcasing products and a lot of tutorials and how-to videos. 
So you should be definitely checking out the other videos. I've seen some good stuff from some great guys and gals on there. So definitely check out the rest of the videos. The Fool's Pass is my favorite pass. It's the favorite, my most favorite one to do. I did shrop this razor a hundred and seven times <laughs> right before the shave. I used to think that was excessive, but honestly, high amount of shrop, I'm sorry, high amount of laps on the shrop before a shave translates to a smooth, comfortable shave. And I'm gonna do touch-ups. I'll be back, all right? And I'm back, just rinsed off the face and did, you know, touch-ups, close, up close touch-ups around my nostrils and just my goatee line. Going in with the aftershave, I'm using Woody's compliment this barbus soap quite well and that's it guys just had a great comfortable nice shave and chat with you guys and i want to thank you guys for joining me and you guys take care